what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'll be showing you how to add a MSATA SSD to this HP EliteBook Folio 9470M laptop so currently this have a 500 gig um, 2.5 regular hard drive in it but I'm going to show you guys how to um, add your MSATA SSD to it so right here I have my my um my MSATA drive so it's not a big name brand or anything it's just a cheap brand dogfish and this is a um, 200 and 256 I believe yeah okay so this is the MSATA I'm gonna be installing you will need screws for your MSATA um, mine didn't come with any screws so I'll be using these small screws to hold it down you also will be needing your screwdriver I don't remember the name of this but it's a small star head okay it's a small star -head screwdriver we'll be needing one of this and also I have my USB stick with my Windows 10 um, already downloaded on my USB stick okay this come this laptop um, it's currently running Windows 7 on the old R drive but I'm gonna I'm gonna erase that Windows and um, install the Windows 10 with the new hard drive all right so let's go ahead and get started you will need to turn it over on the back and you will need to release the battery so go ahead and pull this back slide the battery down and that's it after you remove the battery you will need to remove two screws um, one is right here and the other one is down here this will remove the tray for the um, hard drive cover okay so let's go ahead and do that okay once you loosen these two screws go ahead and pull the hard drive cover backwards and just lift it up and that's it right here you will see the 500 gig hard drive already installed and right up here I'm not sure if you guys can see that let me go ahead and fix the camera okay so here it is now guys um, right here is where the M SATA will be installed and these are the two screw holes to hold it down let's go ahead and get started with the installing all right so I'm gonna open up the M SATA box this is how small it is guys as you guys can see this is the size of it okay so let's just rip this plastic piece off okay and we are going to install it this way okay let me just show you guys okay so let me just show you guys this is the direction you need to install it um, as you can see up here is the larger side and down here is the smaller side just like this so just gently slide it in you'll hear it snap go ahead use your finger and push this down in place right over the screw holes and let's go ahead and um, put the two screws in okay guys and that's it the M SATA has now been installed everything looks pretty good okay so let's go ahead put the cover back on plug the battery in and let's go ahead and um, install the windows all you have to do is just slide back this on 
and tighten back the screws. Get your battery and slide it back on. And that's it. All right, so all we have to do now is get our power plug and let's plug the power in. All right, let's get the Windows USB stick and plug that in as well. Hope you guys can see the screen, I'm not sure. Okay, so you can enter boot mode um, two different ways. You can press the power button, then press escape and you will see the option. Let's show you that option. So press the power button and then press escape. And right here you will see it says F9 for boot device option. I am not sure if you guys can see that. Right, but it says it right there okay so you can press F9 from right here to select the boot device option to install your Windows or you can simply just press F9 when the computer starts to boot up so press F9 and there it is the boot option has been selected um, I am not sure if you guys can see this, but you guys need to go down to the um, to where it says um, USB hard drive. That's my Windows hard um, Windows USB stick. So go down to the one that says USB hard drive for your Windows. Press Enter, and it will start to um, load up the windows from the USB stick and you can start installing the windows from right here. Okay guys, so once you get to this option, you wanna go ahead and select your language and then press next, press install. Okay, so it's gonna ask you for a key. If you have a key for your Windows 10, go ahead and install. Um, insert it but I don't have any key so I'm gonna choose the I don't have key option it's right at the bottom not sure if you guys can see what's going on on the screen okay so right here we need to um, choose our window so I'm gonna go down our Windows version I'm gonna go down to Windows 10 Pro and go over to um, next press next okay right here go ahead and choose you accept the terms go over to next click it right here you will have two options um, one option says upgrade um, upgrade install Windows and keep all your files the other one says custom install windows only um, we're going to use the second option because the second option will delete everything from the r drive from the previous r drive right so we need the r drive completely clean so we're going to choose the second option right there and here we have to um format the old hard drive so i'm going to take everything off the old hard drive okay so I'm gonna click format okay let's go up to the top partition and let's click format okay so we're gonna delete the top partition the, the smaller one in size so press delete so we can recover some free space okay now press delete on the 500 gig hard drive. 
perfect now we just got back some free space from the 500 gig we're gonna press new apply press ok and that's it now go down to your um, m.2 your m sata sorry your m sata and you want to click new apply the make sure that you select your um, your end SATA SSD and you want to go down to next because we're going to install it on the M SATA and that's it now the windows is being installed on your M SATA hard drive okay guys so the computer um, install the windows and everything and it has been completed so we are now ready and good to go we can remove our um, USB stick but yeah this is it guys um, let's go ahead and check let's go to this PC so yeah, um, we have the 256, 256 SSD. Yeah, over here we have the 500. Um, let's go ahead and format it. And then we are able to use it. So yeah, format. and that's it format complete I don't know why it did that but anyways um, we now have the 500 over here and the, um, the M SATA over here um, let's go ahead and check um, system properties I'm not sure if you guys can see it but down at the bottom it says window is activated so that's pretty good remember I didn't have a key I did not have a key and down here it says that it's activated right but um, this is pretty good um, um, I, um, I5 34 7 34 7 u 1.90 um, max at 2.40 um, 8 gigs of RAM so pretty decent stuff okay so let's go ahead and check um, if all the stuff was installed so we're gonna go to device manager and let's see if all the stuff were installed base system device not installed that's pretty easy to fix um, yeah so let's see if we can do this um, update driver okay guys okay so my um my camera just died so I'm using my phone okay so I'm gonna fix this that thing later the base system device I'm gonna fix that later but yeah but yeah guys that's how you install your M SATA um, to your laptop your HP elite book folio um, 9470m I believe so, okay so I'm just gonna do some restart and let the system update what it needs to update and hopefully it fixed that thing that needs to be installed okay so that's it guys thank you all for watching see you guys in my next video